So this is deck five, the main promenade. We're just looking at the main sort of one of the lifts of the uh, at either end of the of the main promenade. Uh, the lifts are pretty good; they're, they're pretty prompt. You're not really hanging around for them. Uh, as we start down, you've got sort of uh, the area on the left there where you can get uh, pizza if you, if you need it and other bits and pieces. Uh, you can also get specialty coffees. There's a range of uh, shops on this floor um, offering different things for, for sale for those who, who want to enjoy the, the shopping experience. The little ship thing there in the middle there is good for sort of finding your way about. There's several of those scattered around and it would say make use of them because they are quite quite good at giving you an idea of where you are. Downstairs is to the casino area. Uh, as I say on the right and left you've got shops, you've also got a uh, sort of like pub there and other sort of uh, I suppose entertainment, food venues kind of thing. Some of these are uh, in your package, some of them you'll have to pay extra for. If it's an alcohol then you're obviously going to have to pay for a drinks package because that's not included or you can buy those separately. As you look here, you look, there's two, three floors above. Uh, those are the internal cabins which have a view onto the main promenade. If you get in one of those cabins, be aware that sometimes the events go on into the evening and they can be quite noisy, so you will get a bit of noise disruption. Now, on the left here, we've got the Ben & Jerry's ice cream parlor. We went in there, that was good. We've also got a sugar sort of cut sweet shop thing there. On the right, you can get uh, a cafe where you can get sort of coffees and teas, or you can buy specialty coffees. Uh, those specialty coffees are again extra. Next cruise uh, store on the right there. Be aware that potentially you could get a better deal by going through a local travel agent than going through Next Cruise. It's kind of weird. Now, as we come down here, you've got a little sort of bridge uh, with LEDs that change colour. Below us now, you've got the art gallery. Um, and they've obviously got the lifts at the end and on the left there that we've just gone past you actually had sort of like the uh, I suppose customer services area uh, the little bar area to the left there they hold different music sessions and jazz evenings that kind of stuff so it, it, there's always something going on uh, again same down here you can see at the bottom you've got the art gallery there uh, in front of us we've got the entrance to Playmakers, I think it is. Uh, yeah, Playmakers, which is kind of uh, like an American themed bar area. Um, we didn't really go to the left there, as you notice. Uh, these are sliding doors. This is kind of going into more of an adult's area. Uh, but kids can do come in here and they play on the games at the, at the end. Um, as I say, it's more kind of like an American themed bar down here for that kind of market. There's a few uh, gaming machines on the left, it's sort of like a uh, puck uh, hockey thing on the right. A couple of uh, grab machines and arcade kind of stuff. And then as you come through, you come through to the actual casino well. Uh, when the doors open, they, they, they will open, you won't walk into them. Um, and various different card tables uh, for those kind of people who enjoy that kind of stuff. There's a whole range of um, sort of like the one arm bandit kind of stuff you would see in... Vegas. Um, I didn't actually not a really gaming person, so this is kind of just like enjoying the, the bright lights, really, more than anything else. The stairs there go back up to the main promenade, uh, which we saw as we walked the other way up the top. Um, we don't go right the way through. Um, we can sort of bear right here, and we follow back tracking on ourselves. Um, go back to sort of where we came to Max with Playmakers. You will see a lot of people make use of these. I think probably they're more for the American market um, when we're looking at through, walking through here when it was more you know, busy period during the day. It wasn't busy. Um, we've got the sunshine. I think probably the, the Europeans are not so enamored by these kind of slot machine kind of things. You do get They do get used, of course, but not super heavily. Um, playmakers, you can obviously get drinks in. Um, they kind of don't do cocktails, you kind of got to go to one of the cocktail bars to get those, but you can order things here like nachos and uh, fries, uh, chicken nugget kind of stuff, so they, they do cater for sort of uh, snack kind of food down there, but again it's, it's something you're probably going to have to pay extra for, because uh, it's not going to be included in your inclusive package. As we come through, we've got, I say, the sort of like bar seating, general kind of seating area which is useful when people are holding like the jazz evenings, that kind of stuff. You can sit down there, you can get a cocktail from the cocktail bar, which is on the right-hand side. 